feels like it's a, this guy. He he went around to all the beaches <laughs> with the giant flippers. And Where'd you just, say they found it, Wes? Dinosaur Valley State Park. Wonder Isn't why they, they call it, it that. Because there's lots of dinosaurs down there. Oh, he sure is not just like the guy that. with the weights. <laughs> this was the guy with the weighted <laughs> shoes again. Yeah, it's a big gag. You got him to name the park. <laughs> <laughs> so helps dinosaurs himself, aren't real. Helps him sell the gag. Hard. You guys, yeah. dinosaur deniers. <laughs> you are. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning. And welcome to episode 1024 of Hard Factor. It is Wednesday, August 24th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. Uh, it's a mostly Italian roast in the cup of coffee in the big time with Wes. Yeah, there's some some Italian stuff, uh, some Indian stuff. Hey, some, Luigi, bring the kids a free pizza. Why you got to make it the fun? Uh, some yeah. vino. Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah. There's like some people of Italian descent, much like the macho man, Randy right. Randall, Mario Pofo Savage himself. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Actually, an Italian man uh, on deck. We have a medical mystery with Mark. I think that's the only way I could describe it. Yeah. Gripping your pillow tight. Is just, uh... <laughs> yeah. We'll uh, yeah, we will. Pat's got more Sana Marin and Chinese cruelty in the hole in the TikTok international moment. I don't know how to swing this Sana Marin, make heads or tails of it. Oh, she's because... a party girl. Well, I just I was really on her side. Oh, you're not, not out anymore? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to present the facts to you guys and you okay. can make a decision. Did she a... get facial surgery to change her face? Please. No, do. that was well, I'm be still out on her on side. It. I'd be out. Look, defacing art is not ever yeah. something I'm down with. She's still a party girl. Likes the party. Yeah, uh, she's the dirtiest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm excited to see. We are pro Partiest, <laughs> girliest, <laughs> evidence. Yeah. democratic socialist that you'll ever see. It's been a great run. She's had these last couple of weeks re really entertaining the people. I like, I like Pat's joke when I was gone about how that's where you want to be with her is the sauna. Sauna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Her name reminds you. Uh, and then uh, since we're going to have a huge lead on the news by that point through the first three batters, uh, I'm going to blast us off to Space Mountain. To salt this one away. Salt this uh, mm -hmm. podcast away today. So. Perfect. Fantastic. Lots of space news. I don't know. Out you of guys this world. Seen it, but I've seen a few. I've seen a few of the of the of the. Of the they look pretty crazy. The there's headlines. a new UFO video, fellas, that has Ooh. the people talking. What about? Isn't there some black hole stuff too? Or you know what? We've actually done that. NASA is the sound recycling of black, the black yeah. hole. NASA is recycling the the sound of the black hole. It's like it every a new time, one. Okay. Right. Every time they like, they're like, oh no, people aren't paying attention to us anymore. Let's do the black hole video again. It's the yeah. sound of a black. Give hole. them the black hole noise. Yeah, All right. They've, they've <laughs> away from the from the telescope failure. Hey, did, you, uh, wait, did you know that space <laughs> is silent? Yeah, except for uh, black holes. Not did so you, fast. <laughs> Will, did you do the Uranus thing? Did you read that headline? No. Is there something about Uranus? There's well, a headline. Pretty good. Yeah, there's a headline that says Uranus <laughs> opens and closes daily to let out planets. Hot wind study finds. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mo I mean, most stuff is clickbaity yeah. uh, today. Uh, is that clickbaity or is that science? Yeah, oh, it's no, from it's, it's from so... uh, big so blog dot sci dash nature dot com. Exactly. Yeah. But so many <laughs> so many blog dot sci dot nature dot coms exist yeah. just to like turn a study into a funny headline. And yeah. then how do we get the pea brains to pay attention yeah. <laughs> with the planet farts? Yeah. It, and Uranus it's, farts. It's called Uranus. <laughs> well, that was like the remember the diamond rain on uh, Saturn. It's probably similar. I think that was Saturn. Uh, yeah. Hey, honey, uh, I got something special planned for you. Uh, we're just going to take a quick trip to Saturn. I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> well, do you want to see it? You want to see the screenshot from this blog dot side? Yes, yes, I do. It's the Uranus opens and closes daily to let hot 
hot plan is hot wind out. This is the picture. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on. Two yeah, two oh, uranuses. Yeah, two uranuses. Together. <laughs> to look like a butt. Yeah, look like an ass. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. yeah Money well spent over there. Yeah. That's great. It's getting clicks. Got Mark's click. It did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you guys want to just jump into the news? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. Cup of coffee in the big time. Uh, got a couple of jokes for you. First one is a Reader's Digest classic that I think everyone's going to enjoy. Um, so this guy named Larry, he goes to the doctor, right? The doctor comes in after doing the exam and he says, Larry, everything looks great. How are you doing mentally and emotionally? Are you at peace with God? Larry replies, God and I are tight. He knows I have poor eyesight, so he's fixed it. So when I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, poof, the light goes on. When I'm done, poof, the light goes off. Wow, that's incredible, the doctor says. Okay. A little later in the day, the doctor calls Larry's wife. Bonnie, he says, Larry is doing fine, but I had to call you because I'm in awe of his relationship with God. Is it true that he gets up during the night and poof, the light goes on in the bathroom? And when he's done, poof, the light goes off? She goes, oh, no, he's peeing in the refrigerator again. <laughs> <laughs> that's Classic pretty good dudes. got him Larry yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good one also this is just one of my all time favorite jokes that um, safety man Jordan popped in the discord what do you get when you breed an elephant and a rhino mm, what do you get when you breed an elephant and a rhino elephino elephino yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's right mm. there you go stay tuned jordan one of just a just a great great icebreaker as well mm. uh, oh yeah. yeah yeah people yeah. really want to talk to you after you drop yeah. that one. Oh You're yeah king wes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i gotta I, get more of this guy i'm gonna go funny. get a drink yeah he's gonna, funny keep eyes on him i should see what he's him. at yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, that's exactly like uh the, he's safe what's, what's brown and sticky a stick that that's also yeah. a great icebreaker one it's yeah. anything that's like so safe like that or a right. dumb and dumber what a bulldog and a shih tzu a bullshit yeah. yeah, he's so goofy and cute. I should fuck him, right? That's right. how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder what his dick's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, he told me this. What was his Rhino name again? That like one night stand <laughs> magician, <laughs> El <Elif Yeah>. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, one of my all-time favorites. All right, uh, let's go to some news, guys. First up, Italy. Um, this video was trending. I don't know if you guys saw it. A huge um, yacht sank off the coast. Um, it's like a multi-million <laughs> dollar. It's this, a funny ass video just because of how expensive it is. Like, oh yeah, that's the best part about it. It's 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 like a dollars, yeah, right? it's like at least a, like a twenty million dollar yacht just oh. sinking. It's from two. It's a two thousand seven model. Um, and uh, yeah, these guys just videotaped it. Luckily, that's no sad. one was. Yeah, luckily no one was. Um, that's an insurance scam. That's not sad. That's what I. So? That's <laughs> what I think. Yeah. Probably Forty too, feet Pat. long. Always yeah. Yeah. What's that? 40 feet was the yeah side. it was it was long there was like there was seven people on board i think they all got off they were rescued by the coast guard or whoever luckily no one had any injuries so you know if there was an insurance scam it was a it was a risky one they all but, got <laughs> off though. <laughs> yeah they did all get off they did all get off um somebody didn't know it was an insurance scam that's for sure someone someone was very scared um anyway uh i don't know it's like this boat's getting kind of old well, who was filming yeah. them that guy could have saved them yeah well it might have been the coast guard who yeah knows? yeah um but, you know, they don't know what caused it. But as we touched base on, I believe orcas um, are um, attacking boats. Oh, oh. Um, well, on the East it, Coast. It, it really could be. Yeah. It really could be. It really could be. Listen to this. Listen to this. Um, this tale of this uh, this woman. Um, she fell asleep on her father's small yacht earlier off of the coast of France, and she was uh -huh. violently awakened. She said she scrambled to the to the deck and several orcas surrounded them and mm. they were steering the wheel like wildly. At one point, the 37 foot sailboat was pushed through uh, 180 degrees in the opposite direction because these orcas were ramming the boat. It was like She's, Woodstock 99 out there at the seas. Yeah, they were just, yeah, they're getting pretty comfortable up in, yeah. the, up yeah. in the stores. Yeah. Yeah. Coordinated attack on this sailboat. Um, and, uh, you know, luckily they, they all survived, but they, they, they attacked the rudder. So they were, the orcas were trying to, um, you know, disable the boat, basically. Um, well, it sounds it, are like. they? This is the thing. They always do this to sailboats. Mm -hmm. Are they trying to play with it? Because they're always like pushing it around and they end up sinking them or breaking the rudder most of the time. 
Well, I don't know. The first happen. time, maybe it's an accident. The second time, I'm not sure. Well, they, they respect, do it all the time. They, they respect right. motors. They're not a big fan of sailing. Yeah, right. right. They yeah. don't want to get close to the motor. <laughs> yeah, right. They're like scared of the motors, but they right. but they know they're just smart, right? They're just yeah, yeah. They're smart, yeah. smart killers. Um. So anyway, <laughs> luckily no one was hurt there either. But uh, yeah, crazy stuff. All right, let's go to Texas. That's um, terrifying though. If you were, well, if you were absolutely, the, if you were the billionaire up. heiress, yeah, yeah, by a pod and your dad's sailboat. Just getting rammed by orcas. Yeah, pretty terrifying. Yeah, I'd ask for the gun like for myself. See, right. Dad, yeah. I told you I didn't want the little sailboat, the little yacht. And <laughs> it's uh, painted you like almost, a seal. You almost killed me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> right. If it was the big yacht, they wouldn't have been able to touch it. Right. Never again am I sailing with you off the coast of France, Dad. Not the little one, Dad. <laughs> yeah. I can't shoot through their hides with this shitty revolver. Right. Um, yeah, turn it on. I mean, yeah, on next, let's go to Texas. Some more cool drought stuff as we've covered uh, Lake Mead having a drought. They're discovering bodies and bodies and yeah. bodies. A oh, drought there. I mean, how bodies. many bodies really? You keep like, F- ten? like <laughs> six, like up to ten. <laughs> I think five. Five. Ten, five. Yeah, five. five bodies and bodies. It's ten bodies. Yeah, the, the mob. This is number people. five. You're making it sound like it's they're, they're washing up bodies every day. That's a Just lot wait. over like two months, right? Yeah, two months, five bodies. That's a lot. So it's a lot five of bodies. Yeah. Five more than they had found. And those are just the ones that are just showing up. They're not even looking for them. Right. They're hoping yeah. they don't show up. And right. they, they've had to report five. Yeah. They're just like, we have to report this because it's if just you, sticking out of the ground. If you go to Lake Mead at night. <laughs> it's just it's just little dinghies filled with Italian mafia guys with with, 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 with shitty yeah. scuba gear. No, yeah. you're going in. Yeah. You're going in. We got to move this body. Yeah, We're just place. looking at the stars. Out yeah. here. <laughs> we really should have thought about this before dumping all these. Zip here. me up. Where'd you put it? Where'd you put it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was over here somewhere. Yeah. Um, I remember. Yeah. It was but over the, dra- here. the drought's uncovering lots of stuff and, and doing the same thing in Texas. Mark and I know up until yesterday, we have not seen rain in months down here. It's felt like just an insane drought. And it's uncovering incredible things like uh, dinosaur tracks. Check oh. this out. Um, this is at the uh, Dinosaur Valley State Park in Texas. Uh, no, it, it, I don't think so. They, they're they claiming that it's these are 113 million year old dinosaur tracks that have been uncovered. No Here's way. a close up. Yeah. Wait, it dried to the point you could see the tracks. How does yeah. that work? Yep. No, 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 no. Didn't you see that yep. guy that was uh, didn't we do a fun fact on the guy that put on the giant yeah, flippers? The, this, this feels like it's a... this guy. He, he went around to all the beaches <laughs> with the giant flippers. And Where'd he you just... say they found it, Wes? Dinosaur Valley State Park. I wonder why they call there? it that. Because there's lots of dinosaurs down there. Oh, is the not just like the that. guy with the weights. <laughs> this is the guy with the weighted <laughs> shoes again. Yeah, it's a big gag. You got him to name the park. <laughs> <laughs> so dinosaurs sell, aren't real. Helps sell the gag. Or you guys, yeah. dinosaur deniers. <laughs> I mean, it looks, like it. It looks eerily similar. Those, those cracks are a little suspect. Though. Yeah, isn't it the same three pronged foot? No, this isn't the this isn't the uh, ten foot penguin. Uh-huh, this is foot a, penguin, yeah. This is the work of the Acrocanthosaurus. It, it grew fifteen uh, feet tall, seven tons. Here's an actual image uh, taken by the James Webb Telescope um, of the dinosaur. <laughs> it's a small T Rex. It's like a shittier T Rex. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks a little yeah. tizzy. It's like a tizzy T Rex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. T Rex cool. just. It like eats his cousin. It's when Tiz it's Rex. Small. It's Tiz yeah. Rex. I mean, it'll fuck you up. Fifteen <laughs> feet tall. Um, apparently, there's a this 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 t- parks in Glen Rose, Texas. There's another one called the Sour uh, Sour Poseidon, which is about sixty feet tall. Here's what that thing looked like. Those are the two Whoa. that are but predominantly in this so you're, park. You're telling me in 113 million years the footprint stayed perfectly in this in the ground. Yeah. Well, and Mark, it didn't even come out until this this latest. What's uh, that F word? It could be fossils. That's right. Fossils Fossils. could be. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like geology, time and pressure. Those wouldn't be the rocks would erode a little bit. Well, it takes time for a fossil print to come out, Mark. You understand? It, yeah. it, they it, didn't erode. Those are like perfect footprints. They eroded a little bit. Look, they're smooth. They're not okay. perfect footprints. Okay. I mean, but were they pouring concrete the day that the the yeah the exactly walked across? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> insane. <laughs> One hundred thirteen million. Ah, oh, jeez, we're now gonna have to we'll redo this whole thing. <laughs> the Chisosaurus. <laughs> Talk he to. Him. Hey, you didn't it. see the sign. <laughs> it's quite concrete. Talk Incredible find. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool, yeah, right? Pretty 
Well, we maybe they need it. Maybe they need a bump and, uh, you know, people going down there. So hopefully that yeah. gives it to them. We'll That's like around. the Uranus farts story. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't understand thinking the James Webb telescope was fake until you read that story right there. Mm-hmm. Now I get it totally. Yeah. 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 That, that was just captured by the James <laughs> Webb. There it is. Um, all right, guys, moving on. Uh, normally, guys, getting blown is a good thing, right? Yeah. Unless, unless you're Hugh Grant or Magic Johnson, uh, then it comes back to, you know, bite you in the ass a little bit. And um, Twitter is finding out that getting blown ain't so great, too. Uh, what were you going to say, Pat? You leaned in. Matt, well, so. Magic Johnson has a bad story about getting blown. Well, well a, pros- a prostitute story where he got HIV, I believe. Yeah, the transmission. No, that's not. Virus. That's not. I that. thought he meant the people that were blowing Magic Johnson <laughs> regretted it. <laughs> Hugh Grant for sure. Uh, <laughs> I can't breathe. Didn't Magic Johnson get HIV from a prostitute? Uh, from a woman. We don't know. know. Yeah, it could have been any of the thousands of women he admitted to having sex with. Okay. Could have been um, a dude. Yeah, yeah. Could have been here. a Hugh Grant. Um, anyway, uh, Twitter's finding out not so great uh, because they are getting blown by a whistleblower who happened to be the former head of security who they fired back in January and is now taking revenge on yes. Twitter by singing like a canary about all their dirty shit. And this guy has just become Elon Musk's new best friend. Oh, yeah. Although something tells me they may have already, you know, uh, been 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 in close contact with each other. They were corresponding for yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe he's getting there paid to do There is nobody this. on the planet who has a sharper axe to grind than a disgruntled security yeah. manager this guy's I mean, the, the best oh yeah. yeah these people are like in, in prof- the professional world are so serious and hilarious to work with security people and if they're disgruntled they oh. are going to take such inventory of but all of will, your little shit but yeah. will you have to hear about this guy <laughs> i'm sure yeah. oh, i'm sure i can't wait i can't yeah. thank, thank you wes for uh for, for telling us absolutely so elon is He's so excited best. that he tweeted this uh which is jiminy cricket uh saying give a little whistle and that's because this is probably going to help out with Elon's um, Elon's lawsuit that he's in Just or the, the battle he's yeah. in with Twitter. Get out of um, buy Twitter free card. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so in the complaint, this guy, um, what's his name? Yeah, anyway, he goes by Mudge. His Mudge. name's uh, yeah, yeah. Mudge. Here's sure a, it's not Mudge. No, it's Mudge. No, it's Mudge. There he he's, is back in the day. He's a former hacker. He's like, the, yeah. he, they hired yeah. him straight out of hacking. Oh, They're this like, dude never gives his full name. Are you yeah, saying? he was, Um, it's like the, it's like Catch Me If You Can style. They offered him like a job because he was, he was just busted the for hacking. The one guy you don't disgruntle when yeah, you, when right. you fire him. Mudge. It's the, yeah. it's the one dude you should, yeah. you should take care of so that he doesn't come back and do this and tank your stock. You're talking about yeah. a top 10 hacker in the world who now knows all your secrets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His name's like Peter Z, uh, Peter yeah. Z- Zatko. Um, anyway. Yeah. He, uh, he's a little pissed off. So he alleges um, th- a lot of shit, fraud, enabling dangerous security vulnerabilities. He claims Twitter allowed India to fire government or, or to hire government agents for their operations over there, which would give them uh, the government access to lots of personal data without telling the citizens, all in an attempt to repress protests and anti-government propaganda accounts that were on going on over in India. That's oh, like the yeah. biggest thing. Um, He's gonna spill all the beans on on the yeah how they tag people and yeah. suppress their shit. Uh, Looks like yeah. Mudge worked at DARPA. He did. He did, Pat. Damn, this is much much. accomplished. Yeah, that's much. You're talking about. Uh, he, he, that's a picture of Fisher Stevens yes. as as uh, King Dick Hacker number one from uh, Hackers. Correct. Hackers. That's much. You, they pissed off the main guy from Hackers. It's much. That. This yeah. is you don't go after people like this. This is why we're cool with anonymous with all mudges with anybody in this world. You don't. We, be, we, don't, we believe you, much. Right. Rabbits, we turtles, totally viruses. Believe. Will somebody yeah. tell me what's going on around here? <laughs> <laughs> I love um, that movie, Hackers. I remember, so I remember being like, Dad, can I spray paint our computer keyboard to look like Desert Storm camo? Oh, man. <laughs> hackers. Do that in hackers. You know what goes, other movie was? He goes, Patrick, I don't know how they did that without getting the keys to not stick together. Right. Was like, that yeah. was a, or prefabricated. Yeah. yeah. That's true. You know what other movie was badass that's similar but a l- little different? Is sneakers. 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 Yeah. Great movie. Redford and Kingsley. Yeah. I haven't seen Hackers. I need to see. Robert Redford. Hackers. Kingsley. He went out for pizza. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Hackers. Um, anyway, Twitter oh, fired back and was like, this guy was a loser. He was fired because he sucked at his job. He creeped everyone out, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he was capitalizing on Elon Musk's saga with Twitter well, to hurt the company and true, shareholders. Yeah, sure. He was your security head. That's it's, right. It's, it is what it is. Right. Everybody believes an ex-security head when they, when they whistleblow 
because they have access to all the systems back. No in one knows better access. than Mudge. He might yeah. be. He might have an axe to grind, but if he if he's telling the truth, he knows for sure. He's right. got all Mudge can grind an axe because he studied guitar at uh, the famed Berkeley School of Music. I mean, Is like, that Fisher Stevens again? Oh, no, Mudge did. Uh, Mudge really did. Yes. Yeah, Mudge. Really did. Looks like the Lost Look Beetle. Um, so uh, <laughs> you sure it's this not is Mooge? It could be Mooge. <laughs> Mudge. Like hey, it's fudge. Mooge. It's spelled fudge. It's, F- F- it's spelled like fudge with an we M. Meant no offense. <laughs> so I love seeing hater. I love as we're taping, seeing hater, uh, <laughs> hater YouTube comments come in. <laughs> oh, nice. Do you guys get those in the what, corner? What did it say? No. Uh, why do these people have such low? And then, yeah, it cuts off. Oh, okay. I, I don't know after that. Something great after that. So anyway, <laughs> in the big one, the big section that Elon is is, uh, is paying attention to, it's a complaint titled, the section titled, Lying About Bots to Elon Musk. So what he says is um, he cited the this the chief executive, Art, uh, um, Art Agrawal, and yeah, he said Barack. that um, it's uh, he said he lied about Twitter's number of fake accounts as an example of misrepresentation by Twitter. He said, quote, executives are, quote, not incentivized to accurately detect spam because of how they measure the site's user base for advertising purposes. Obviously. So, I mean, that sounds like they misled advertisers, too. They're getting more 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 pay than they really should. Zacco's other claims about the weaknesses of Twitter's privacy and security could give Musk new grounds to abandon the deal. Legal, legal experts said this is from, um, you know, uh, New York Times quote, if Twitter left out things that it should have disclosed, that management knew were serious problems to the business that makes its SEC filings inaccurate because they do not dis- did not disclose material information about the business that could help Musk with his fraud claim. Um, so, you know, Elon is is very he's in the clear. Yeah, he's very oh, so in the clear. They shouldn't have pissed off Mudge, man. I mean, well, there was a fatal flaw. It's yep. a fatal flaw. They're just also, getting called out for what every other social media platform obviously does behind the scenes. But Mudge, their ex, their disgruntled security ex chief, has the fucking receipts, and they're fucked now. So. When the dust settles, Mudge is going to be the security chief at Tesla. He is. Uh, he, Mudge, Mudge is yeah. still the king. He yeah. Mudge still rules all at Twitter.com. Yeah. He's the type of guy that if you let him in, you need to get like some for life. Uh, some. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what was that sex cult that um, Allison Mack was involved Nexium. in? Yeah, you, yeah. Gotta, yeah, you like, got a dirt on him. Yeah, you, yeah, Mudge, you I'm gonna hire yeah. you. Yeah, Before you gotta, I let you, you gotta, get yeah. all up into my systems, Mudge, I need some, I need some Mudge dirt. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's blood and blood out when you hire Mudge. <laughs> you just gotta keep him happy. <laughs> He's well, yeah, happy. or kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, gotta you can't get snacks. dirt on him. You need uh, to keep him happy. <laughs> the occasional yeah. You can't find his know. dirt. It's so hidden. Yeah, all right, gotta... Mudge, this job's for life. We we all agree on that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you want, Mudge? <laughs> That's what you ask him every day. How can yeah. we help you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Still in right. our deep in our systems, huh, Mudge? <laughs> <laughs> Still examining our deepest, darkest secrets. Huh? That's right. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, let's move on to the number one story of the day or the cream of the crop. It's time to check in with America's slimiest power couple, the Pelosi's Nancy and Paul. First up, um, before we get to the, some, uh, he's got two, two things in the news today. He was making the slimiest. Make, they're, yeah, slimy. they're slimy. I don't they're think they're the slimiest. Well, for the, for the purpose of this section, Bezos they are the slimiest. Girl. Ted and right, Heidi Cruz, I would argue. They're, they're the slimiest, slimiest until the next story of a power couple that's slimy, okay. who we will Understood. then call the slimiest. Understood. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, so a new report has come to the surface that many people um, in Washington, we they, they kind of already, you know, a lot of people in Congress benefited from the PPP loans. They already reported on this. But now they're, they're, uh, a new report has come out that has identified some big players, some people with lots and lots and lots of money well, that have benefited from PPP loans. And one of those named was Paul Pelosi. Um, now, these loans are supposed to go to small businesses to get them through the pandemic, you know, mom and pop shops, people. And a lot of people, as we as we as we um, reported on, took uh, advantage. We became a small company one year too late. Oh, yeah. Well, a, I got, well but it's yeah. probably good for us in the in the, in the well, yeah, because we weren't tempted. See, this is a list you do not want to end up on. No, th- th- this list, this list of scumbags who defrauded yeah. the covid um, relief is a list you don't want to end up on. We so. would have seen an orca or two, you know, with the, some boat trips that we shouldn't have been taking. Probably right. Like Mr. Yeah. Pelosi over here, it sounds like yeah. that's fucked up. What did he do? What, what did he, so, what did he, what did he file so, for? So here's a tweet. Um, 
it says uh, this one holds a special place in my heart from I can't read it because my it's too small. Uh, Speaker uh, Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, took some PPP loans as well as even though him and his wife do absolutely excellent in the stock market and both have two full time careers. Clearly, they needed it. Oof. Right. Yeah, good point. So Paul owns a 8.1% share of this company called EDI. And EDI received $1.7 million in PPP loans. Not a bad, you know, not a small chunk of change. Paul may have gotten some of, of that. That's a lot of payroll, right? That's you, a that, lot of payroll. That was, this was so this, that you're paying for your this payroll. This was the payroll for, protection that if you got this, right, and you paid people for a period of time, this was mm -hmm. the incentive. So you right. got the loan, and if you paid people for six months, then you didn't have to pay the loan back. So essentially, if, it was, if you're going to retain your employees, then this money is free. Right. It mm -hmm. was like for, it was supposed to be for like restaurants and shit. Right. Yeah. Small businesses. It was yeah. A, small it, businesses it, that lost, you know, one customers. Of my, my, or whatever. One of my small businesses took it and paid paid our, our two staff members. As long as you yeah. paid your yeah. staff took like 60 money, grand and paid. Yeah. As long as you paid your staff with the money, it's legit. Which right. we could have done for hard factor. What did what did this guy do with the one point seven million dollars? Well, we question. don't know, but they were forgiven. They didn't pay them back. And mm -hmm. a new study came out that really um, that said that on average, 23 percent of the money that was got that companies got from PPP loans went to workers. So of oh, 20 percent, 20, so they're trying to audit. The uh, other seventy-five percent. I think it was supposed to be eighty twenty. The well, other, yeah. Direction. And the alternative was, was so Ooh. this. This I talked to my account about it in great depth. I wonder they got all one the IRS agents. One of my companies Whoa. ended up taking the PPP. Everybody's the alternative was the PPE, e, right? Which is it was yeah. it was a non-free loan. Just a loan. Yeah. It was just a right. loan, yeah. right? That you could use as a gap loan or a bridge right. loan to get Correct. through. But then, like my 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 music you have company to pay took that one, one back. of those. I'm paying that back now. I'm paying yeah. my people. I got wow. one forgiven, so which is sweet. Same pet. I yeah. got like so a basically, fifteen hundred of that thing, and yeah. If you took one, if you did one of the grant applications mm -hmm. for one of these things, because I already got audited this year before they added the uh, eighty-seven thousand IRS employees. If you took one of these things and you're on this list for having taken any of this shit. Yeah. You're going to get definitely. So, I mean, and that's oh, yeah. that's well, there, totally fair. I think that the 87,000 people should get the Paul Pelosi's, but then they, they like, but it should be like a contract job for like, you know, one year. And then once they get all the PPP people, they don't need to be full time. I can see why well, they're amping it up because they got fucking. Well, I mean, look, shit happened and they got to pay for that new, new, shit, new uh, you know, shit Biden happened too fast. Yeah. And, and, and this was essentially the candy dish being put out saying, please take one. And really what this was for yeah. was for the people that had no other option for employment. Yeah, but you're going to find out some shit about Oh, people. well, Pat, it's not just that because because uh, they also named Kim Kardashian. No, I know. I, everyone took uh, they I named took advantage. Tom Brady. That's, about what, that. that's oh, what rich no, people do. Rich Brady. people take advantage. Rich yep. people take advantage of every opportunity possible. You're going to find out some rich that's people why they're are rich. scumbags. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Big time. And Big their time. accounts did it. Some rich said, people are scumbags. Their accounts did it and said, it's, it's, it's well within. You should have done this. You should be doing it. The government's no, giving you No, you shouldn't money. have. Take you shouldn't it. have defraud the government. You should Kim not Kardashian, the government. they dried it up so other little people it's couldn't take it. It's money. It's horrible. It's I agree thing. with you, Wes. They bullshit. dried it up. I feel like bullshit. Kim Kardashian has enough money already. Sure, the worst thing you could do, steal yeah. the U.S. payers' tax money. Fuck these people. They should throw the fucking book at them. Yeah, absolutely. Under the jail. Agreed. Look, look, look at some look at uh, I'll see if I can find the article that Kevin Kurt wrote in the Austin Chronicle about what some of the venues in Austin took some of these motherfucking places. These are venues I worked with for years. They're not even venues. You can't even get a fucking person on the phone They're They are venues right. that open right. once a month. One of these places that opens once a month to put a show on. It's just a space took like eight hundred thousand dollars to pay their employees that aren't really fucking employees right, right. They, they show up Most once a month tax money comes from people who live in check to check Look, but listen now that we're our own company maybe 20 grand for hard factor next pp listen if it so. comes out we're taking advantage <laughs> next of it. We, don't need to take, we don't need to take yeah no we're tomato small flu, potatoes tomato flu do your thing we also then, would have paid ourselves with it and that's right yes that's, that's what i'm saying it pox, it pox me to prove that we've pox me but it'll go to content people the people that fuck that that fucking did this and didn't didn't right. need it. The people that right. bought Lamborghinis that and shit. Ride yeah. it up, yeah. Right, yeah. From from the bottom of my heart, fuck you. You are the scum of the earth. Exactly. That's right. Um, we're not done with Paul yet, though, guys, because uh, DUI. Remember, he got in that DUI crash in May out in wine country in California. Um, they 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 released this mugshot. He's looking fantastic. Um, they also released the uh, the dash cam video. Um, and it's pretty funny. This video I'm going to show you guys is that the trooper is trying to get Paul to perform some kind of one legged test. And all oh, he can no. do is oh, he can't do it. He can't do it. So here, here's here's the video. 
So you could try both feet out if you want. Oh, the age doesn't help, does it? He's just no. wobbling and holding. Well, no, he he, he looks like, like Grandpa in the Monsters. Well, yeah. like a, like a, a just breathless. He looks like he take, like he's wearing a suit that was purchased the year he graduated high school. Yeah. Once, you, once you're ready. To go. That, there's some Worthers in that pocket, the front pocket. What was yeah. that, officer? Okay, he hasn't taken a single step. No, yet. he's just wobbling and holding onto the car. He's just sure praying this is a dream. Right. How much did you say you were worth, sir? I really don't want you to fall over and hurt yourself. That's the oh, last thing I'll say. He knows Why he didn't you hire move. a driver? Right, but, but that, that defeats the, he the whole purpose. He could use a drink right here. Grabbing on to a so-called. <laughs> that defeats the, the, you're defeating the whole purpose by holding on to the car, sir. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to hold on to the car while putting his foot out. Anyway, uh, the, the, the officer eventually says, look, obviously I can't, I can't do this. I don't want you to get hurt. So I'm how about stop. you just give me a few stock tips and we let you go? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he pled guilty yesterday to misdemeanor DUI where um, he almost killed himself and another driver when he crashed his 2021 Porsche. Um, and they sentenced him to five days in jail. But of course, because of who he is, he got two days credit for already uh, served. He got two days credit for uh, good behavior, which is a.k.a. because he's Nancy husband and the last day he's going to serve slash never serve eight hours in the court's work program in lieu of the other day and he won't and he got three years he can't probation. even do his five days see this is this nope. is what pisses me off he's nope. spending he's a eight man hours in a courtroom he's a grown yep. man no he didn't he's, even go to the court he's he a grown didn't even show up to the trial so if you if i get dui guys if i get a dui and especially yeah. and i can I, i'm not going to lose my job because i own the company but if i get a dui and you give me five days i'm going to serve my fucking five days because it's a, it's a slap on the wrist punishment for something I shouldn't have been fucking doing. Can we right. make an agreement that if any of us get DUI, obviously we're all equal owners of Hard Factor that, yeah, you're not going to be on the show for five days, but we can talk about why you're not on the show because you got a DUI. Yeah, I agree. I can't commit to that. Currently. I'll, I'll agree to that. <laughs> it would be news. <laughs> yeah, it's news. Yeah. It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be hashed out. <clears throat> Chances are, if I relapse, I'm getting a DUI. I, I think there's I think there's a small <laughs> chance one of us gets a DUI, <laughs> yeah. and it should be mentioned. <laughs> anyway, fucked up though. He's I mean he he literally almost killed someone. Uh, he was well over the legal limit, I believe, and and he's five days, three years probation. But you know he's Paul Pelosi, so that's what look. That's what it's horrible to hear, but this guy's this guy sounds like a real piece of work. Also, Senator uh, Rick Scott on the other Scott on the other side, everybody's pissed off at him because he did a Pelosi Italian vacation, and he was still like campaigning, saying he needs money or whatever. He's also like a fucking trillionaire no, they're like, all like, if yeah. that whole segment was a bunch of it doesn't matter uh, left or right. right it's uh if you play football or you do reality shows they're all taken from the pot you know, some bullshit and getting away if tom brady it. if yeah. tom brady really took some ppp money it was for tb12 it'll yeah, be for tb12 they, okay. they all did because will, will yeah. they really they seriously rich if people you, cannot you, justify they they don't justify it. they do not justify paying someone out of this pot right when their money is in this pot, that, that that's how they stay rich. They said, "Oh yeah, that's but that's that that's that company." It was yeah, supposed to be for it. troubling troubling companies. But I this don't is think my money. Was this is my money over here. That would never survive. That's my yes. football money. Tom said, at its Tom said, "That's my football money during yeah. COVID." Right. So, uh, in fact, I think I downloaded the book. So extra fuck you to Tom Brady. By taking that money, they put small businesses out of business because okay. I also they have dried the book up the I also have the TB12 book. He he did fine. He did fine. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm going to return the book if I can. It's electronic. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Probably not. Might just. Probably. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it to Goodwill and write it off on my taxes. Yeah. Oh, you get over cool. a million bucks. Um, and that's a cup of coffee. Okay. All right. Uh, have you guys ever uh, slept walked? Slept, sleepwalk, any sleepwalkers no. amongst us? No. Yeah. Yeah. I have. I have. Both of you. Okay. Do you want to explain like what, how often or what you guys do? Will's done it more traditionally than I have, I think. Uh, I'm talking about yeah. blackout hammered walk because yeah, I think will do both, that. I've done both of those. Let's try okay. to talk about not blackout hammer. Just like if you okay. had a sleepwalking incident. Sleepwalking so, as a child before I was uh, drinking. Okay. Yeah. I, I woke up urinating in a in, in a, one of our friends. It's a common one. Our friends' yards in their front yard. Were you drunk though? Um, I. Well, I'd been drinking, but uh, I'd never black out. So, okay. so this was like, I, this happens. I've though. never blacked out in my life. This was, the, I, so I woke up and I was like, I'm peeing in this person's yard. And then I, that happens back to, though, to, to anybody who drink or it this was like 6 a.m. Like after I probably stopped drinking at 2 a.m. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I've done a lot that of the peeing peeing on the are, my bed. Um, okay. yeah. Kevin Allison peed whoops, in your, uh, yeah, in my, uh, in my drawer. Uh, it's yeah, okay. That's all drunk. Sorry. Sorry, Kevin. 
Yeah, sorry, I'm, Kevin. I don't think he's going to get fired from his uh, job <laughs> 20, 25 years ago when he did this. Uh, fun fact, according to a study done by Stanford's University of Medicine, about 3.6% of people in the U.S. or over, well over 8 million people are sleepwalkers, like they do it at least once a year. Uh, probably so real sleepwalking, though, is totally sober, showing up, waking up somewhere you have no idea how you got there basically oh, you just do insane shit there's the, yeah. the, have you seen those youtube videos of the one woman i'm showing you i'm going to show okay. you right now she's I love that girl. she's so probably the most famous sleepwalker uh is tiktok <laughs> sensation <laughs> selena spooky boo who has 26 million followers on tiktok and posts videos of her sleepwalking like this one here she's the best. clips are um <laughs> She's putting salt on a table, but it's mayonnaise. And she has no table, so she's pissed. She's like, where's the table? She's staring. <laughs> <laughs> staring at a duck on the wall. Farts. <laughs> you get it. Stuff like that. Oh, I mean, man, she, she does crazier shit. She goes out the house and walks down the sidewalk, and her boyfriend has to chase after her I know, like, and, in oh, wintertime. Her, her brother comes over, and he sleepwalks, too, and they eat snacks together. <laughs> yeah, I was just giving you a taste. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah, she's pretty funny. Uh, you know, some crazy shit happens with sleepwalkers. They, like, you know, leave the home, like Wes said. Some of them drive. Yeah. Uh, like, not good, right? That's like a deal. Some of them are also full of shit, I think. But, you know. I uh, think so, too. Right? So I'm like, oh. But it does uh, happen. It does happen. It, it, there was that yeah. murder case that guy got away with like he got off because right, of, I think that's bullshit. Yeah. There's probably a lot of sexual assault cases like, oh, I, uh, I slept, walked my way into your bed and Gary Busey my pants off right. and, and mm -hmm. yours, too. Right. Yeah. Like a lot of that probably. Oh, uh, so sleep, um, you know, but also things like people cook in their sleep. Mm -hmm. People go to the bathroom like we talked about in not bathroom places, commonly uh, a drunk thing. And how about uh, this guy who says. Uh, I pooped in the hallway closet in a shoe. I'm not sure how much time passed before my dad opened the closet door and found my little present in his shoe. So that was probably an mm -hmm. awkward convo at breakfast, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but no one on the all of the Internet stories you can find on Reddit or the sleepwalking list on BuzzFeed. Nowhere on the Internet will you find a sleepwalking story that is more intense than Kofi Atta, a farmer in South Ghana who woke up from a nap a few weeks ago, uh, last week, actually, in his chair where he dreamed about preparing food for his family and butchering meat mm. only to find out that the butchering he had done to it was to his own cock and balls and that he had completely cut his penis off. <laughs> oh. Was it re re repairable? I mean, he's going to have surgery, but no, Will. So he no. cooked it, didn't he? No, he didn't get quite. He, he woke up screaming uh, oh, okay. like, no, no. Yeah, uh, that's a deep sleeper. The 42 year old said, yeah, cut his whole package off. Right. Like when you sleep. wake up on the first incision. Yeah, I mean, you'd think so, wouldn't you? You'd think so. You would. <laughs> <laughs> you would hope so. You would. That's uh, horrible for Kofi. It is real bad. Uh, so the 42 year old said he doesn't know how or when he picked up the knife, but he woke up confused and in a pool of his own blood while in extreme pain. So he mm. found out quickly uh, that things had gone south in his dream. Uh, his wife was not home when, when he uh, oh. went when he was there. So he woke up and like started running around the neighborhood being like, uh, oh, my dick. What have I done to my dick? Kill me. My Someone kill me, please. <laughs> please. Yeah. Mr. Elephant, dick. come and trample me as I have cut my dick off. Would you be so kind, Mr. Lion, to maul me to a quick <laughs> death as there is no point in living anymore as I have completely cut off my penis like an idiot. So he was yeah. doing that. Uh, and his wife uh, showed up and she's like, what's wrong? And, uh, you know, and he, she's like, why are you yelling at the elephants and the lions? And so she saw and she was like, oh, goodness. And she tried to stop the bleeding with a diaper. But that didn't work as, as his penis and genitals were completely severed from a giant kitchen knife. It wasn't like a baby's amount of pee or diarrhea she was dealing with. It was, it was consistent a, oh, pools of blood okay. and tears, lots of it tears. It wasn't a nick. So the diaper didn't soak it up enough. So he was rushed to this hospital, which doesn't look equipped for dick sever severed stories right uh, on august 16th where the doctors and nurses yelled mr lion would you please maul this man to death uh you know hospital elephant like man a... mr elephant could please <laughs> trample him it's like a border crossing not a hospital yeah, i know uh they were not prepared. actually I mean, it's a nice hospital for africa but 
not nice enough for a severed penis. Uh, no. no hospital on in the, on the planet is. Uh, so yeah, the surgeons were like, uh, you know, oh my goodness. And now he's awaiting surgery to try to unhumpty dumpty his genitals. Uh, and yeah, here's a recent image of Kofi that was taken. Um, yeah, he's not happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I thought he'd be a little more upset. He's just, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> this is like a week later, you know, it's like his, yeah, his yeah. favorite team lost. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> in a way, uh, I got yeah. the milk. He's just remembering. He's never going to sleep uh, again. That's a, that's a worse outcome than what happened to those kids well, on Elm street. You know what I mean? Like not great. I wonder if they're going to release the photos. He's not uh, going to of his I mean, severed penis. Yeah. I hope, I hope I'm, I'm really, uh, really, really uh, pulling for Kofi here because that you, you got you got to be uh, give given up uh, on a lot of things after that happens. Too. Sweet dreams, listeners. Yeah, yeah. I mean, was this his first? Inc- I mean, if I was Kofi, I'd be sleeping with my hands handcuffed to the bed for now on. Well, I mean, yeah. he already cut his penis he off. So right. the, I mean, he's done the worst thing possible or, right off the bat. So yeah, I mean, it can't go any any further downhill so uh, right. yes he had he done something like really bad before this he should have but now it's all things go you might as well right, just right. you know see what happens might as well walk That's up Co- a cliff That's yeah Kofi's exactly bad. <laughs> that Kofi's bad yeah. all right guys let's let's trip out it's time for the tiktok international moment see i have two stories we're going to talk about but i realize that we're not talking about potentially the biggest story and i want to talk about it really quickly okay but we're not talking about the news about John McAfee. We, we I know we, we, we texted about it a little bit. But I, yeah, this, I mean, this is developing. It's, un, it's a developing it's story. Substantiated. That's why it's the woman that woman who used to shit into his mouth. <laughs> Which <laughs> one? I mean, well, one of the two, <laughs> the two women that were saying that they sh- that they cut holes in in uh, into um, into hammocks and, and turned it in so like McAfee's a, a, mouth. Like a full Belizean woman. Like yeah, a, saying <laughs> that they've been getting a phone call or so from John McAfee saying that he faked his death, which would mean that he had to have escaped from prison somehow or paid off the prison guard. She said that he paid off two prison, paid off the two guards. I, I'm not putting it back. Be, like, if you're not, I mean, if anyone could do it, it's crazy John McAfee. But why um, wouldn't he call yeah. his, his wife instead of this girl? Right. I, I, this all this all yeah. relies on you believing that he wanted to leave. Uh, what was her name? Janice? Yeah, mm-hmm. Janice. That he wanted to leave Janice in Spain. So if this is true, then he's getting back with the chicks from Belize, right? Is that the country he was getting his mouth shit in? <laughs> yeah, allegedly. Um, and so he's getting yeah, back Belize. with the chicks from Belize, and he left Janice <laughs> in Spain. That's what the ele- the allegation is here. Uh, but it's but it's again unsubstantiated. There's no fresh pictures of McAfee. Right. Like, so we'll we'll keep you updated. But goddamn. Okay. Let's go to China. Well, I mean, well, we're all hoping he's alive. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty time. sure it's just her friend Where's pranking her. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's me, John McAfee. You got any f- right. What are you eating? <laughs> send, trust, I send me money. Him. What are you eating right now? <laughs> the words as good as gold. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, stew, huh? <laughs> Guys, Chinese authorities have punished 27 people over the publication of a math textbook uh, that went viral because of its, quote, tragically ugly illustrations. So those are the words from the Chinese government that they, the illustrations were tragically ugly and this is from the guardian um so the, there was a months long investigation by a ministry of education uh, working group um after the books were deemed quote not beautiful and some illustrations were deemed quite ugly uh, oh. and did not quote properly reflect the sunny image of china's children and this is an age-old thing that illustrators if you if you ever meet an illustrator who's a children's books illustrator or any sort of children's illustrator uh first thing you should know about them is this is not their first choice for a job. Their first choice for a they job. They put a was, picture of a little girl in there, didn't they? The, their first choice for a job was drawing like sick comics or like being an actual artist who pe- people buy their art. But this is where they landed, and it's a gig. So almost all of them have a little fun with it. Uh, and uh, these math books, um, the illustrator who did them, uh, they were published by the People's Education Press like 10 years ago, but uh, they recently garnered a ton of attention because someone found the photos, posted them on Weibo, and they went mega viral. Uh, This is back in May. I guess a teacher published them. Um, And uh, I'm going to put up some of the pictures here. And let me know what you guys think, if you guys want to describe them. So so here's one. Um, Oh, no. What do we see here? We got a little girl with her skirt blown up so you can see her bloomers under the skirt. It's like she's saying, oh, my fanny. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we got we got a horny little uh, little 
little uh, cartoonist here. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got a prankster. And then this one, I was trying to see where where it was. Oh, here. Uh, the, okay. So there's an American thing. He he. This guy like uh, he's disrespecting the Chinese flag. It's not it's not drawn right. Right. Uh, there's an a kid rocking Captain America, America up there on the stuff. top right. Yeah. Mm. What's up with the kid? They don't like ties. They, obviously, they're not into oh, look, ties. The kid's got a boner. They better not the open it. Yeah, this oh, was a little bit more clear. With the kid has a rager. Two he? kids have a boner. Do you get the kid above it feeding the the, the uh, chicks? Oh, the yeah. baby, the baby chickens. Um, a is this boner. a is this like a Disney artist from the nineties that used to do the cover art? For oh, it's, it's, a, it's it's a dude groping a chick. It's a oh, rape oh, almost. Crazy. Like. That's a now that's a bad one. Mm-hmm. That is uh that is uh that's a sexual assault. Right? He's wearing like yeah. a Boy Scout outfit. He's giving her yeah. a titty twister. They're about six. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. so there you have him. Uh, guys, the photos depicted um, <laughs> people with distorted faces. I don't know why that matters. Uh, but you said it was a math book. It was a math book. Yeah. Was it like how many crimes are on this picture? Right. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> uh, All the sexual harassment. Yeah. Boys um, with bulging pants uh, and at least one child with a leg tattoo. Uh, you know, normally, normally I'm not in favor of Chinese uh, censorship, but this time they got it right. Yeah. Illustrator Wu Yang who uh, I guess drew this shit 10 years ago, along with two other designers. Um, they are banned from ever working on national school books or textbooks again. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't think they care. <laughs> yeah. young. Makes a lot yeah. of sense. Yeah, he's like, I got it in, didn't I? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Let's, who let's, else let's... drew 17 boners in a math book? Let's go to Finland real quick. <laughs> so we, we've been talking about Finnish Prime Minister uh, Sonamarin, mm-hmm. right? Easily the hottest politician on the planet. And, and when I say Talk hot about I, making I, your pants, I don't mean like how like Sarah Palin was kind of hot ish. Right. You could see how she was hot previously. S- Sonam Marin could be a model right Croatia's now. Croatia's old prime minister also model level. But Sonam Marin, I think, takes like, it up. She's level. she's insanely beautiful. Uh, perfect skin, flawless bone structure. Beautiful lady. So I was saying on the last show that we need to give her a break. She's a new mom. Turns out her kids four. So not the newest mom. But right. still deserves a mom's night out. And you know where four is, though? Four is a tough age. Four Can is be. the age, too, Wes, where I feel like you're probably getting a little bit more freedom, right? Like, yeah. it's tough. They're changing, but also they don't need you as much. So of they, course, you, you trust babysitters fully by then. Mm-hmm. Four is so the she, age she's where really exploring it, you know, Sana Marin can have loud sex in the house and blame it on like anything. You can plop them down in front yeah. of a TV. Yeah. Oh, I turned Bluey on too loud. Yeah, we had there was a thunderstorm in mommy's room. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. So pretty much what happened was she partied hard a couple weekends ago. A bunch of photos and video got leaked. They were like, you're on drugs. So she took a drug test at our own expense last Friday. Monday came out. No drugs, obviously. Uh, But some new video has been released allegedly from that same evening and a photograph that was taken at her home from last July after a music festival uh, when she hosted a party at her house in Helsinki where they went actually did go in a sauna, Mark, um, Mm -hmm. because I I guess that's something you do in Finland. Um, I'm going to show you the photo first. So this photo was taken at her home in July. Um, It's two ladies who are well-known influencers pulling their, their shirts up. Uh, and putting a, a sign that says the the country that they're in, which is the country of Finland, over their tits. And yeah, I don't think say that anything wrong. That looks sign very influential. Is, that sign is something that Sana probably took from like the UN or something. So that's it's like yeah, yeah they're it's it's like yeah, it's like uh they're they're, they're 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 enjoying the uh, prime minister's residence exactly. Yeah, this did is the she type take of a thing. drug? T- did they take a drug test after that night? You know? They didn't. They didn't. <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? Anyway, oh, that, that's, that's kind of a nothing burger. Sana, you know she. Uh, she's having a party at her house that's getting a little wild. Who cares? This is the bigger burger, if you ask me. And you're not going to hear anything because Black Eyed Peas Tonight's Going to Be a Good Night is playing in this back, the background of this video. That was. Um, and they were on to something. That they was captured by an onlooker while Marin danced with a gentleman. And uh, this is not her husband. Yeah. Um, no. Here we go. Tonight was a good Let's night for that video. guy. Oh, yeah. He's in there. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, he's really he's really talking to her. Not right her husband. Here. Yeah. Oh, Tonight's he's kissing her neck. Good night. Oh, she's Uh-oh. taking her shirt off. 
Can you imagine can being out there scoring with the prime minister? No. Yeah, they're at that like. Oh, did, I want you guys to notice something. Did you did you notice that? Or the camera goes down. What what do you see out there? Is that daylight. A bed? It's Is that daylight. Did you guys yeah, see daylight? daylight? Yeah, yeah. Daylight. this is happening during the day. Isn't Finland super far north? Though? You're right. You're right. It's probably at night. You're right. Summertime. So no, it's just... probably like six in the morning because she's notoriously mm-hmm. partying until six in the morning. She's even got her wedding ring on. So, Dirty girl. Yeah. So they're dancing. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Brings up the swingers op- option here. Uh, I mean, he went in. For, he he you now he's already kissed her neck. She's still dancing with him. So if he just went in for the neck kiss and she was like, I can't. I'm married. She probably should have left by now. Or she's still chilling. And she's, she's surrounded she, by narcs. Look at these motherfuckers videotaping. Yeah, her. yeah. all videotaping. Her. Jesus. She, well, oh. when you're blackout drunk and high on cocaine, you're not really. You're not really. Minister. You're not really like looking around for cameras. And have a whole bunch of scumbags. Anyway, yeah, yeah the. Uh, Apparently, um, she sat on some other laps that night. Sat on some faces. She looks like a girl that uh, probably sits on a few laps at, at parties she goes to. Yep. She like, and the one she, likes she hosts. Yeah. yeah. She likes that fun. It's good to be her friend, uh, not her husband. No. no. He's, he's at home with the four year old that night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's tonight, babysitting. Mommy's wasn't getting good kissed on him. the neck. He's yeah. watching the four year old. Yeah. You have a nine wife who's also the leader of a country. And she parties at like and she's an eleven. Kissed she on parties next at eleven by, yeah. by, by dweebs. The guy looked like a total like coke dweeb. That's you just gotta hope day. that she's into bringing extras in at that point because that's that's your only hope to get involved. Yeah. Anyway, let's hear about space. Finland's pretty near space. Makes you want to move to Finland. Really does. Uh, yeah, Pat. Space is the place. Space is the place. Hello. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and I'd like to thank listeners, uh, Phil Wan. John, Zach, Safety Man Jordan, again, second time. He also helped Wes today. Bugsy Moogs, Charles, uh, John number two, and uh, others. Because this, this, these stories were sent in by a shitload of people. I think they may have made the Barstool blog or something. Okay, before we blast off to space, uh, just a quick update from Mazel Bay, South Africa. You guys remember the place where the orcas are actively hunting great white sharks? We played mm-hmm. a video in the mm-hmm. High Five a couple weeks ago. How could we forget? Of course, and Mark's covered before how they eat their livers. Uh, well, and their tongues too. That's right, as a delicacy. Uh, there are now at least nine great white bodies, great white shark bodies that have washed ashore without their six hundred pound livers uh, in Mazel Bay, South Africa. Here's a pic of the latest one. Oh, female just splayed out on the beach, liverless. Uh, great white sharks, decidedly not apex predators. Uh, the orcas, in this case, just two of them, two little hunters, uh, are scaring all the great whites away from the African coastline by eating their livers out of their bodies. Did you say the the liver weighs 600 pounds or the that's shark? Correct. The liver weighs 600 pounds. And the these two orcas, that's just like a tag team. And they just uh, run amok on all the great whites around Mazel Bay, eating their 600 pound livers whole straight out of their body. 600 pound liver. What are they alcoholics? It doesn't look it doesn't look like it could be 600 pounds. Oh, no. sharks, they are, Mark. I think they're kind of well, Pat, these things are all like 20 feet, 30 feet long. They're big. They're oh. half liver. Um, it's like lake meat out there. It really is. <laughs> the orcas are a lot like the mob now that you mention it. Yeah. Look yeah. where you're going. My dinghy's here. Find your own. <laughs> you can no. use this area when we're, when we're done with it. Me and the we're shark are just looking, looking at the stars. Yeah. <laughs> he dropped his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, shark. Yeah. So, I mean, but it's good for surfers, right? As long as they don't upset the orcas because yeah. sharks are more likely to eat them. That's true. So, I like this continue. move the orcas are doing, but the ramming of the boats, not so much. What happens when there's no right. great white sharks left, though, and they've got a taste for liver? They're going to turn on us. They're going to yeah. see all those fatty livers inside the humans, and they're going to yeah. be like, hmm, that's, that's a delicacy. Maybe they're just trying those to lure us into the water by eat, killing all the sharks. It's bad. It's going to be bad for some point know. for the humans. Yeah. You never know. They are advanced, though, orcas. Okay, now we're headed to space, kind of. We're actually not probably not going to leave the Earth's atmosphere for this space is the place, but it's because it's about UFOs. Fun fact, though, before we get started, did you guys know that the series Ancient Aliens – has 18 seasons on the History Channel. Uh, that's neither here nor there uh, <laughs> that I am watching that currently now that I have uh, access to Hulu. And they cover a lot of fun topics on there, like the nuclear silo 
at uh, Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana that was allegedly shut down by UFOs in 1967. Also, the Majestic 12 program and Project Blue Book uh, that have allegedly existed since the Roswell, New Mexico UFO incident of 1947 and continue to cover up Area 51 and other UFO incidents yeah. in the 50s and 60s and potentially still today. So we get it. It's 18 seasons and 80 percent of the episodes cover nuclear stuff. We it's get it. just an aside. Wanted to put that out there. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to say this. Make sure you bring a lot of weed. That's my only suggestion. If you're about to binge 18 seasons straight of ancient aliens, they used to be so. there's a show where action Bronson would just watch ancient aliens. <laughs> oh, well, I can and see he, why he would he would, he would invite uh, people in and they would just get high and watch ancient aliens. <laughs> It's a great activity. <laughs> I I never knew about it till I had Hulu. Finally, now I'm living yeah. the life. Yeah. Now I'm living the life. Uh, and speaking of that, Wes, speaking of of all of that, the reason we're talking today at this story right now, UFOs. That's what we're talking about. Uh, we've got a new sighting. It's hot in the streets. Our boy Scott Waring over at the YouTube channel uh, UFO Sightings Daily in Taiwan. Uh, he's the guy who never replied to our request for an interview. Uh, for the obvious reasons that he probably thinks we're like federal agents or something. Out the yeah, game. we work for an agency. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he is releasing videos every day and he's released another one that's got everybody talking. Uh, this time it's one that's sent in by a commercial airline pilot. I'm going to play it on mute for you guys. And he sent it in with a very long explanation of what's playing in this video. So this is a condensed version, even uh, which you won't believe once I once you see it. Uh, but uh, I will read to you what he said on Mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're sound weird, Will. Yeah. I sound weird? Now there you're you back. Go. There you go. I'm back. The aliens got to you for a second. The aliens. I mean, they're trying to stop me from showing you. Yeah. Because you're about to see what it is. Okay, here it goes. Video on silent while I explain it. The eyewitness states, uh, who? I am an airline pilot with a major airline in the United States. I am a former Trust me, bro. military pilot. Yeah, exactly. Trust me. When? <laughs> August 12th. You can fly these birds, buddy. Yeah, you can. You can see the cockpit of the airline, though, in the video. Totally. In August twelfth, twenty twenty-two, over a thirty-five minute period from approximately twelve fifty-five a.m. to one thirty a.m. Eastern time is when this happened. Where uh, at the first sighting, we were approximately over the city of Wilmington, North Carolina, and then at the last sighting, we were approximately over Richmond, Virginia. We were traveling almost due north, and the objects were directly in front of us. It was impossible to tell exactly where the objects were. In the 35 plus minutes we were watching them, they never seemed to get closer. You see it there. It's just like a white light that keeps appearing. Are you talking about the here. moon in front of him? No, nah, it's it's the it's the it's like a light. It's smaller than the moon okay. uh, that keeps appearing and reappearing, like out in front of the distance of the airplane. Okay. Um, yeah. So they they it looks the, like the camera's that. focusing and unfocusing on the moon. Right. No, it doesn't really look like that at all to me. Okay. But it's um, moving. You can tell that. And you can tell the light goes away as well. Um, uh, so the pilot says, we took off from St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands for a four-hour flight to Washington Dulles Airport. We departed at tw uh, 2200 Eastern Time and landed at 014, oh, oh, 0148 Eastern Time. Uh, at roughly 055 Eastern Time, so 1255, I began seeing slow pulses of light in the sky directly in front of us to our north. The pulses would last usually 8 to 10 seconds each and then had gasp, gaps of darkness uh, lasting anywhere from 10 seconds to over a minute. They were slowly uh, moving from left to right. The pulses would be gradual, start very dim, get brighter, what you're seeing right now. Uh, he says about the brightness of Venus, and then they would fade away. So like more like a star than a moon is what okay. the pilot's saying. Okay. Uh, as an airline pilot, I'm positive. I was not seeing other airliners. Uh, very few civilian aircraft can fly above 41,000 feet. Uh, and the objects, uh, right, and the objects were were up that high. Mm -hmm. um, I was not able to tell the distance from the object of our aircraft, blah, blah, blah. Basically, this guy's like, I'm an expert. I have no fucking idea what it could be. He was like going through, could it be like uh, defense uh, aircraft, like like uh, doing like formations or, or, or training or whatever? Could it be yeah. the grand opening of a mall? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just don't understand how the light stays in the same spot, though, Mark. That's yeah, forty-one feet. The moon. Yeah. yeah, could it be a star? <laughs> well, does the <laughs> moon? Does the moon? Does the moon uh, uh, start and go like that? No. Like, I, I mean, I think he might be unfocused. I think he might be playing a trick with the camera, like focus and unfocus. Your reflection in the windshield. Yeah. 
by yeah. by showing the cockpit and then just showing the well, light. Well, it's just unfocusing and focusing. Up. It's just a light. I, I'm sorry, light's never going to do it for me. I need to see a shape, not a light. Because I don't. Mm. If they're so advanced, do they even really need lights? Like in the sky, I don't even. I'm not. I'm not so sure about the, the light. Light. A uh, light's a never going to work for me. That's right. its ship. Uh, uh, allegedly is, is, mm-hmm. what, is what i know but saying. i don't even think so. they would need to light up their ships so that does nothing for you guys a light that reappears and disappears no. and is traveling at forty one thousand feet in the air does that does absolutely, absolutely nothing, nothing for me okay could be a weather balloon with a light attached to it you know yeah could be wes that's probably what it is and that's why it keeps moving at the exact same rate <laughs> as the plane staying the exact same distance away and then reappearing and disappearing at the same intervals over and over. Probably just a weather balloon with a light attached to it. Yeah. Just or the moon, as you attached, can say, right? It's just a circle of light. Of light. I, 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 it's nothing for me. Sorry. All right. Okay. Well, it does a lot for other people on the internet. Um, one thing to note, though, these do show up around military bases a lot. So uh, if it's not us, it must scare the shit out of the military. Uh, finally, Speaking of the government, a quick NASA update. Uh, The Europa Clipper uh, is uh, going to the ice ice moon on Jupiter Europa uh, in 2024. Uh, It's going to search for life because Jupiter's uh, moon Europa is 90 percent the diameter of our moon and covered by a shell of water ice that's 10 to 15 miles thick. Uh, And then underneath that, there's a warm ocean that's up to 100 miles deep uh, and uh, it holds more water twice as much water as all of our oceans combined. Um, so these like uh, sensors on the thing, they can apparently tell if it's uh, if it's got life in there, but it does cost at least four point two five billion dollars. Oh, I'll write the check. Wondering. But this is cool. Yeah, like, Pat, yeah, I agree with you, Pat. Like, this isn't like a picture of space that from 30,000 years ago. It's pretty. No, they're going to look for life on Jupiter. That's cool. Do it. Go for it. You know what else you could do? Honestly, if you want to make that money back is bottle the Jupiter water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would sell. Might have some like uh, that would fucking sell. Might have some things in it like aliens. Like if you swap, you know, if you yeah, but you you just spend that as a positive. I don't think NASA's is worried about for face masks. (laughs) Any of this money back, (laughs) yeah. Jupiter mask. Jupiter mask. (laughs) It would sell, but they they again they have a massive budget and don't seem to care about making anything back. Uh, Also, hugely expensive project Artemis, uh, where NASA and Space Force and others are attempting to install a U.S base on the moon in anticipation uh, for their first man launch uh, this August 29th. Uh, artists and astronomers have created the most detailed image of the moon ever. 174 megapixels. Uh, you guys can see it's just full of uh, red and blue craters everywhere. That's and cool. then, of course, that uh, brilliant solar radiation that comes off the surface all the time if you're in the sun, sunny spot. Yeah, so why don't they just like send people up to live on the moon like they do the ISS? Like that. that no, they cool. are Mark. Yeah, that's cool. They are Mark. And then like film it like a show. Right, but good luck to anybody live. Talk about make the money back. It's smart. The They're yeah. gonna die on the moon. Yeah. Project Artemis. Imagine living on the the part that's that's reflecting that white light. I mean, it's just got to be like living halfway on the surface of the sun. It's got to. I, mean, I mean, it took balls to you know like. If you're like Magellan or whoever being like, I'm going to sail across the ocean. You know, that took a lot of balls. But this is like <laughs> to another level. I'm going to go fly to the moon and live there. That's that's intense. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, probably just as likely to die. I'd say. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. You're dead. Yeah. Yeah. At least you can see the earth. Moon funerals. Also a great way to make cash. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if the if these uh, cash making up. Op- I don't think we're going to live to see him. We'll on. bury him on the moon. Thank yeah. God. Where's grandpa? He's, he's in the moon, honey. Look up at the moon. Every that time would you, cost a lot, you think about yeah. where grandpa is, he's he's right there on the moon. Don't they already shoot people into space for a good amount of money? Like your your ashes you have have are... so much money though. Yeah, yeah, at least it's that company. <laughs> that one company doesn't know they just shoot you into space when you die. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little pod. It's like a big catapult. Yeah. yeah. That co- you know the cover. I think they call I'm pretty it sure they they they, they, they do it's send called, you send you in space. <laughs> space yeah. guy. Uh, space. <laughs> it's called a uh, space junk. Celestis, and this is the one. Of, this is a really bad website for a company that shoots your um, your shit into space. Yeah. Twelve five. Twelve five. Twelve five. Twelve thousand five hundred. That's it. Yeah. Oh Where wow! Are they doing so it from? worth it. The idea is uh, okay. The Earth. How do they get you up there? Well, don't worry. Oh, about they that. shoot you out of a cannon. Rockets. Rockets. <laughs> they, no, they grind you up and they put you in a rocket. Right, you're in like a warhead that gets blasted yeah. out. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just your dust. Yeah, 
Right. <laughs> <It's not> Earthrise <laughs> service. <laughs> Earthrise service affordably launches a symbolic portion of cremated remains or DNA to space. Yeah. After experiencing the zero gravity environment, the individual flight capsules and modules are returned to Earth. Oh, look at this, Pat. Are you on beyondburials.com? No, I'm on Are you Celitis. kidding me? It's twelve thousand dollars to have your fucking ashes no, go. That's four or five. That's four. Well, nine. check four this nine. out. Okay. You can do the moon memorial for just a two hundred dollar down payment. It's refundable. Uh, the full cost is only seventy five hundred dollars. You could do the. You can be buried on the moon or for the Milky Way. <laughs> For the Milky Way, it's also seventy five hundred and two hundred dollar deposit that's refundable. This Who's is pretty cool. That? Yeah, oh, it's fake. It's but I mean yeah, this is this is bullshit. Yeah, that's hilarious. There yeah. you go. All right. Wheel, All right. Wheel, wheel time? Uh it's wheel time. Okay. Got it. Why don't we ask the wheel if uh that was a UFO or not? <laughs> Cup of coffee. That's me. Mark tomorrow. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock, you know, stop. It's going to be Will. Will, there it is. All right. Thank you, as always, for listening uh, and for sharing our uh, videos on your favorite social media platforms. We really appreciate that, as always. But most importantly, have a great fucking day.